hello everyone so in this tutorial we are going to look at the missing piece of the puzzles like uh, um, <clears throat> at the time of the installation we had seen something provided in the oracle database the url and um, and then we have created certain users name and 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 things around that so i'm going to put on a theory here right now um, to understand what exactly have we done so that uh, the next subsequent videos like restarting the integration server or MWS servers would make much more clearer to you. <coughs> now here is the thing. So what exactly have we done? So we have we have uh, the first step is that we have installed the database. Right. So let me bring this icon. We have installed the Oracle database now. Right. So we have installed the Oracle database. Oops okay o r a c l e right now this is assume that this is our web methods product suite this is our web methods product suite and it's running on 10.7 version which is fine now at the time of the installation <coughs> there were two options um, either if you would have paid attention there were two options either it would say that it's an embedded database um, just ignore the spelling if it's, this is wrong or external external database now uh, in terms of embedded database you can think something like that now you have a mobile phone now there are a lot of applications that are running and a lot of um, a lot of games and many other features are running in your mobile phone now have you ever seen a database installed in your <coughs> in your mobile application no right so you you don't see that um, now I'm not I'm not I'm pretty much sure that that's not one of the the perfect example that I'm trying to put it over here but since you cannot see the database the the applic the operating system or the up uh, the applications within the that resides within the mobile phone itself is kind of taking care of you and like you don't see any external databases that is getting installed while you're installing any applications or you're trying to work with any features right so which means that there is a certain database within the iphone itself uh, uh, the mobile phone i don't know why i said iphone but yeah within the mobile phone itself if i say i'm just saying you know, this is a mobile phone and you don't see the database getting installed it's something like this the database is within it now what what's the what's the advantage advantage is that as a user <coughs> you're you're not seeing anything it's been taken care of right so that that's the best part but when you when you work as a developer right or um, when you need a certain level of flexibility to control certain aspects of it right um, if you go with an embedded database so you are saying that whatever whatever is happening within the operating system or whatever is whatever is happening within the uh, that particular piece of application i mean the whole phone um, it's taking care of it is taking care of you i mean like even if there's an error you don't know what is the reason for the error assume there might be a times where the database would crash out of memory or uh, caching any it can be any error right so if it's embedded right you don't know what's happening around uh, happening around the uh, products right so to get a better of to get a little bit of flexibility or the control on the products within the database we say it uh, you can externalize it right you can say that I'm gonna externalize my database either to Oracle or I'm gonna externalize my database to some other database I'm just gonna name XYZ it can be anything um, <coughs> you could you would have got that option in the time of installation, right? You had that, um, if I remember correct, you have the MySQL, DB2, and many other options, right? So you can choose any one of, any one of the database while you are installing the product. So by that, by, by doing this, you are telling that whatever components that are within the web methods product suite, it can be IS or it can be trading network or it can be BPM 
or it can be calf anything anything you're saying that all my products within the web methods product suite my products are getting externalized to the, this particular database any one of the database and for our demo we are just sticking on with our oracle database that's it i have just chosen oracle you can choose any database of your choice right you can choose any database of a choice by which by doing this the products that are within the web methods the tables gets created within here or is tables gets created here bpm tables gets created here right and the trading network table gets created here right so wh what happens because of this because of this you get a flexibility of seeing what's happening within the product you can see the things like um, you can navigate within the table we can navigate to certain tables within the products and uh, then you can look at it look at it out like oh yeah the you can extract certain values certain piece of information play around with that you can automate the process you can do so many things if you externalize the products to a specific database now if you do not externalize this product and you're saying that i'm gonna embed uh, like it's like uh, it's within the product itself right within the product itself then rest assured that you don't have anything control you don't have anything at your control and like everything everything is been taken care by the web methods itself how can i get this up yeah everything is been taken care by the web methods itself and you have no control you, you you don't know what's happening within isa for example is is taken care here tn is taken care here so as a user you don't have an access right you don't you don't get an access within the embedded database it's already taken care but if you if you kind of externalize it then yes it's you have the complete visibility of it and that's the reason i've i have chosen to go with an external database so that you get a flexibility of controlling the transactions to some extent yeah so we're going to see how that works right we're going to see how that works so that's the reason we have selected for the externalized database right hope that's clear we have not selected embedded database and we have selected external database and to connect to that external database you have a certain set of strings string or the url that we need to connect right and that is what we have specified in our installation path as jdbc something like this i don't remember exactly as we said local host local host um, 1521 um, and then we said service name is let's go to xc by doing this it connects to the oracle database that's how it is so what's the what's the important point that we need to remember here is that since we are saying that all our applications all the web methods applications or the components are getting externalized to the oracle database or any database again in our demo we will be just talking about the um, oracle database only so uh, since all the all the products are getting installed in the oracle database so the first and the prerequisite for any web methods product to be up and running is um let me bring this text here okay so the first step the first step is database should be up and running database should be up if database is down your web methods is down as simple as that database should be up and running okay it has to be available at all time if database is down boy boy the product is gone down right so that's the thing now um <coughs> now what do we left what are we left out here so right so adit now what have we installed let's talk a bit about the product that we have installed the product that we have installed is oracle 18c i'm no database expert so i'm i'm just not going to get into depth of having any elaborated explanation of what is oracle paid in c what are its features i am not aware of it so uh, the 
there are certain parameters which which we had seen in the previous video at the time of installing the oracle database express edition right you had that method of communication you if you remember or if you have forgotten you can just navigate to the previous video and check that out uh, you had the mode of communication right the um, the host the port and the service and if i remember correct this is the details that was provided to us so it was the host name was localhost localhost and the port was 1522 and the service name the um, the service where the enterprise edition uh, sorry the express edition was installed was uh, the service name was xe xe stands for express edition pb pb stands for pluggable pdb pluggable database pdb pluggable database and one so this is the uh, url string that we will be utilizing in any one of our product installation which means it's as good as saying this so localhost 1522 <coughs> xe pdb1 right so that's that's how we are going to install it uh, that's how we are going to work that out and yeah so i'm gonna yeah that's about it guys so i'm gonna pause this uh, i'm gonna stop this video here because it's it has taken quite some time now in the next video we are gonna see how are we going to create uh, not how are we we have already created a user we are gonna see why we have created the users uh, three users right webm is webm mws and webm archive and the reason behind that and after creating the user what exactly do we need to perform so we're going to see in the next video uh, hope you enjoy this one thank you